I'm going to apply some <clears throat> radium weed to my face. Do you see these spots? Uh, they don't look good. Uh, they don't look bad either. It was worse, but you can see that there's a, a kind of a little chafing and stuff going on. My skin's messed up in here, you know. I'm, you know, <laughs> maybe I'm just falling apart. But in any case, I've got these kind of spots, and there's this uh, stuff that comes from Australia um, called radium weed. It just grows by roadsides and stuff. It does not grow in the United States, and um, I'm gonna put some on. And uh, it does, I think it's called radium weed because it looks like you got hit by a radioactive experiment when you're finished with it. Do is you take, here's the weed, okay? Just this, just this green stuff. Um, and uh, I don't even know if you can get seeds for it anymore uh, from outside the country. Um, in any case, I'm gonna break off a, a sprig and uh, simply apply it to my face. Just as a general note, <clears throat> don't put too much. Just a little dot in each of these areas, and then I've got a little bit of aloe. I, I've never done this before, and I'm not sure how this aloe thing works out. It's not focusing. There we go, like this. There's this little bit of white on the tip, and I'm gonna put that on, on my face if I can. It's kind of hard to deal with this crazy. And um, let's see if I can get more out of this thing. There's a kind of a hydrostatic pressure in the, in the plant that um, makes this happen. And here's this, I got more in this one here, a little sprig. So and I think I'm gonna go do the rest of this in a mirror, but I'm gonna show you what I'm doing right here. It's like this, see those little spots? and I'm, I'm, I, I put a little bit of aloe on them and um, I'm rubbing them around. So uh, I'm gonna do that over this whole area. And by the way, you gotta be very, very careful of this stuff because if you get it in your eyes, you'll go blind. So uh, thanks a lot. We'll see you after the next one. Here we are, day two. I had a very hard time sleeping last night. Uh, and you can see what it did. This is 26 hours or so from my uh, the last scene. See, there's a lot of swelling. Looks like hell. Quite scary. So we'll see how it develops. I'll show you what it looks like uh, tomorrow. Anyway, so that's how it is. I guess the only thing to know is uh, I've got, you know, almost cold or flu-like symptoms, almost. I mean, I'm okay. My eyes are very, very runny. And uh, this, you know, you just don't want to mess with it. It's extremely sore. And last night, like I said, I was very, very comfortable. I couldn't sleep on it or anything like that. This is day three of the radium weed journey. Uh, last night I slept okay. Um, this stuff looks pretty frightening. Um, I expected it to do something like that. I stood on my head last night and uh, <clears throat> that probably wasn't a great idea because this stuff, you know, all that, all that scabbing opened up. Anyway, let's look get in here close, see what we can see. Um, that's what it looks like. You know, white stuff is, you know, that stuff is kind of runny. This, uh, this whitish mess, yeah. It's kind of runny, and then the, the, the red one is obviously, it's just a scab. So we'll see what happens. Okay, check this out. Here we are, what are we? Day, <clears throat> Let's see, now the first day I put it on was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today's Thursday. So it's probably uh, like three full days. That'd be roughly three 24-hour periods. And you see what it looks like. Um, it's not, n believe it or not, it's not nearly as uncomfortable as it was. What the heck is this stuff? Um, it's not uncomfortable, but... Um, but it's, it's crinkly, it's hard, and there's a lot of stuff going on. It's still kind of runny. 
So uh, that's what it looks like. And, uh, you know, normally if you look at the radium weed thing, they, they put on like one drop on a spot. And I, I sort of applied it, as you can see, to this whole area. But just FYI, it didn't do that much in the, in here. And I, I had some weird skin in there. <clears throat> it did, Obviously, it didn't consider it dangerous or edible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but this this thing here, uh, you know, it went deep. And that was where those darker spots were, which somebody informed me a long time ago that that was, uh, that was where I had a chicken pox. You know, I had a chicken pox that pulled off when I was a little kid. And um, it left a permanent scar that I've been dealing with. So anyway, there you go. Today is Friday. I started this thing Monday. So that makes, uh, I guess this is the actually the fourth day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This is the fourth day. Um, <clears throat> you see the scabs. Now, I don't know if I did the scab thing when I stood on my head. I know that did it before, but it, they're fairly deep. I mean, these are really, really thick. Focus. Anyway, that's about as good as I can get it, I guess. Like that. There you go. Big. Yeah, they're really standing up off my skin. <clears throat> right there. Um. And these are these dark patches. All those dark spots you see, they're sort of localized on those dark patches. And the good news for me is that I've got pink skin up in the front of these areas here. I got pink stuff there, which means the treatment that I had done earlier, a couple of years ago, kind of did okay. Day five it feels much better. Doesn't look any better, but it feels a lot better. Um, scabs are really, really thick, deep. There you go. That's what we got. Here we are. Day um, is it six? No, five, six. Yeah, today's six. Uh, Sunday and that's what it looks like and uh, this these are all starting to come off you can see they're all sort of just uh, falling away and I've got this is the pink skin the pink skin that comes in it'll stay pink for a while but um, that uh, it'll it's healthier skin than the stuff that was there before it, it basically that scabbing process and all those bubbles chews up these skin and so that's what we got. So I'll show it to you and, until all this stuff is gone. But it looks like a, a lot of it might be gone by tomorrow. I'm just guessing. Thanks. All right, the process is done. Uh, it's been three weeks since the first application. This is what it looks like right now. Okay, all the scabs came off. And now it's like sunburn. Up here it's like this. But, I don't know if you can tell or not, but... The brown spots that I was concerned with are completely gone. And there's this new skin there. I had these uh, brown kind of patches that I was a little bit concerned with and it went away now I'll probably do the other side you know at some point anyway it took uh, seven days for this you know the scabbing process to mostly be done it went from like say you know day four to day seven that's it